at the end of the day, what this really means is Google's machines are going to get continually better at doing these things, right? Which is why I do think just the art of optimizing paid ads, I believe that's becoming more commoditized. You have to layer that in with other stuff. Today, we want to talk about how Google ads is changing. It's ever so slightly Google's making these little tweaks and really what I want to, what I want, what I want to talk about today. Um, Neil, have you heard about Performance Max before? I have not. Okay. So let me, um, so Performance Max is a ad format um, or campaign format that came out um, a couple months ago. And I'm just going to kind of read off of Google site right here. So Performance Max is a new goal-based campaign type that allows performance advertisers to access all of their Google ads inventory from a single campaign. It's designed to complement your keyword-based search campaigns to help you find more converting customers across all of Google's channels, such as YouTube, Display, Search, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. So what it basically does, Neil, is you can set a target of a group of keywords, right? Like a typical Google campaign, and then you you can put some creatives in there. But what then you kind of just basically, it's almost like you're letting Google do the, the work for you. So they're going to take mix and match all the creatives that you have. The more creatives you, you dump in there, the better, because they're going to have more stuff to work with. Um, and then they're going to figure out, okay, they're going to try it on, um, let's say you're trying to sell marketing services as an example. They're going to try things that are super relevant to you, but they're also going to try other channels that maybe you might not think about, and they're going to see what the conversion rates are, right? So you're basically letting the AI work for you. But the reason why they call it Performance Max is because they're trying to maximize performance across all the channels. They're rigor rigorously uh, testing and then while maximizing the creative. So the more stuff you dump in there in terms of like the initial kind of foundation, the more that the, the Performance Max is going to have to work with. How long has this been out? Since November, I believe, 2021. All right. So funny enough, I was at a dinner yesterday and I think this is what the guy was talking about. Uh, there was this gentleman named Chase, awesome guy, uh, worked at Home Depot in marketing before he was at blinds.com, which Home Depot acquired, which I had no clue that. Uh, blinds.com was a place you go to buy blinds. <laughs> usually the websites with the name in it usually aren't the most popular, but it was literally they controlled a lot of the market share in the United States for blinds. And he was telling me, you know, when you let Google optimize for you, I didn't know he was talking about performance max, but it sounds about right. Cause they know Google can actually optimize campaigns for you and push it wherever they want to be. He was telling me, he's just like, dude, it didn't work as well as just Google shopping. And it's funny, I've seen it in many cases where you let Google optimize the campaigns, find all the placements for you, try to hit certain CPA goals. It just doesn't work as well as sometimes manually doing it. And he was saying that they were trying to find all these cheap clicks in different areas, but he's like, we just did so much better just Google shopping and just controlling it ourselves. Yeah, so this is, uh, so Google shop, you said they did better with Google shopping? Just letting focusing it go, yeah. on Google shopping instead of letting Google optimize and run it everywhere. Yep. And so I, I want to read off some of these benefits too, and then we can talk about kind of the, where we see things going, but some of the other benefits here. So unlock new audiences across Google's channels and networks. I talked about that. Drive better performance against your goals, get more transparent insights, steer automation with your campaign inputs and simplify campaign management and easily optimize your ads. So this, you can carry over these benefits, basically the Google shopping too. But at the end of the day, what this really means is Google's machines are going to get continually better at doing these things, right? Which is why I do think just just the art of optimizing paid ads, I believe that's becoming more commoditized. You have to layer that in with other stuff. There's a creative aspect, and then there's also the creative thinking around um, other channels that you make, you might be able to get um, to, to complement whatever you're doing with Google. Neil? Yeah, in the long run, Google's trying to create AI and technology that you just click a button, your ads run, and it converts as well as it can from day one. That's what they're trying to do. The thing you have to focus on in marketing is you got to figure out, all right, do I have the best creative? Do I have the best landing page? Do I have the best copy? Some of the things that Google can't necessarily change for you, at least right now. All right. So that is it for today. 